Imagine if your town didn't have any roads, highways or train tracks. How would people and goods move from one place to another? Plants face a similar challenge. They need to move water, food and nutrients from one part to another. To do this, many plants have their own superhighways called vascular tissues. Plants with vascular tissues are called vascular plants. In these plants' superhighways, there are two main parts, xylem and phloem. Xylem is all about water transport. Just like a straw helps you drink from a glass, xylem in plant roots pulls up water from the ground and delivers it to every part of the plant. Phloem has a different role. Plants make food in their leaves using sunlight, a process called photosynthesis. Once this food is made, phloem takes on the job of delivering this energy-packed food to other parts of the plant that need it, whether it's the deep roots below the ground or the growing tips of branches. But these plant superhighways aren't just for moving things within the plant. They're also important for support. Vascular tissues are strong, helping plants to stand tall and reach towards the sky. Vascular tissues enable plants to grow in many different shapes and sizes, from tiny flowers to gigantic trees. However, it's interesting to note that not all plants have vascular tissues. There are some plants, like mosses and liverworts, that don't possess these transportation systems. These plants are called non-vascular plants. Because they lack xylem and phloem, non-vascular plants are typically much smaller in size. They don't need to transport water or food over long distances like larger plants do. Instead, they absorb water and nutrients directly from their environment. This is why you often find mosses in damp places, comfortably taking in all the moisture they need from the surroundings. You can learn more about non-vascular plants in related videos. Thanks for learning and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.